Your soul is calling you to wake the fuck up, all right? Your soul is calling you to step into your power. Your soul is calling you to step into your greatest offering. And your greatest offering is not living in pain. You are listening to Turn Your Soul On Radio. I am your host and visionary doctor, Dr. Brandy Victory, and my mission is to assist high-achieving women in closing the gap between feeling unfulfilled to living a life on fire. It is time, ladies, to champion our own lives and turn ourselves on. This is Living Victoriously, ladies. This is how you turn your soul on. Hello, beautiful. I am so grateful to be connecting with you in this way. Thank you for being here. Uh, the, every time I, I hop on this mic, it just, my soul bursts open and I just feel so alive and thankful for you for listening in and um, for sharing all this with your friends and, and writing the reviews and all that good stuff. I so appreciate it. I, I see this stuff growing really quickly and, and it's just, um, it's just so awesome. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm also feeling so much gratitude for the guidance that's coming into my life right now. Like I, I'm always getting guidance as we all are. We all have guidance that's coming in for us. Uh, and, um, for most of us, especially me, I can very easily lose myself in the busy busyness. Uh, I get all caught up. I wake up at four thirty with my head spinning, and I have to get right to work. And you know, I just, just kind of how it's been. I do feel like I'm on the other side of that, though. Thank goodness. I feel like that little lotus flower that's been pushing herself up through the muck finally has sunshine shining on her face. So I am so grateful to be, have everything kind of structured and the website developed and, um, the, my programs reformatted and all that good stuff. And I feel like I'm, I'm all on the other side doing the, the fine tuning now. So it's giving me more time to step back and, and dive back into my, my spiritual practice and to really question my direction, to really make sure that I am in, in integrity with what my highest purpose is. And the only way I really know how to do that is to, to sit in meditation and to, and to ask, you know, uh, what is my soul calling forth today? And, you know, I invite you to do the same, like ask yourself, What is your soul calling forth for you to do today? Um, I pretty much can tell you our souls are calling us forth to just wake the fuck up. All right. So if we're experiencing any kind of lack in our life or limitation or craziness that um, seems limiting in some way, then that is a symptom of your soul knocking on your door and you're ignoring it. Okay. I had a patient come in yesterday who I've seen her, um, this is, um, goodness for maybe four weeks now. And she comes in every week or every other week. And each time she comes in, I, she says, you know, I, uh, I ask her, how's your body doing? And she says, well, I'm in, I'm in terrible pain. I feel horrible. You know, it's these kind of conversations every single time. And I said, okay. So, to, so yesterday I asked her, how's her body doing? And she was like, well, I'm not terrible. So in that very moment, I was just like, wow, you know, this, this chick has a really difficult time finding any kind of goodness in her life. I'm like absolutely sure of that, okay? Because how we do anything is how we do everything. And every time she shows up in my office, she feels shitty, her life is terrible, nothing's ever going to improve. Now, this is, I work for another doctor right now. I work in another office and this is one of their patients. This is clearly not a patient that would show up in my office, nor is this someone who's ready for my, uh, you know, Ignite Your Life workshop or the Turn Your Soul On Ready. Uh, I'm sorry, Turn Your Soul On Masterclass. It's, she's just not ready, nor nor would it be a good fit, uh, because you know I hold a very sacred container there, and the women there are holding the same container and, and doing what they can to shift themselves to a higher vibration every single day. And when I, I asked her, I said, so have you possibly explored an anti-inflammatory diet? And actually, you know, I know I've talked to her about this in the very beginning, but I, she hasn't invited me to work with her on her nutrition at all. So I didn't know where she was at on it. So I decided to ask and her response was, you know, actually I have, and that really helped a lot. 
And I, I was like, oh, inside, I was thinking, well, this is why she's not terrible, you know. <laughs> Maybe she's feeling a little better because she's eating better. And she then proceeds to tell me, oh, but you know what? I felt sad because I couldn't eat the foods I like to eat, and uh, I'm just not doing it because I like food too much. And honestly, I was like holding my jaw closed because I didn't want it to just pop open and land on the floor at my uh, level of uh, surprise and somewhat appalled and that she's in my office asking me to help her feel better, but she's not willing to do anything for herself outside of the context of that. So, you know, I, you know, what is her soul calling her forth? I don't know. And will she ever know? I don't know. Because it doesn't appear that she has the capacity or the desire to look a little deeper. Her problem is not a structural problem. Her problem may or may not even be a nutritional problem. Although anytime, I'm telling you 100% of the time when I've said to someone, yeah, change your diet, go to an anti-inflammatory diet, and uh, that should help. It has helped 100% of the time. And what I know is there's always an emotional component that may be on a subconscious level, if it's not something that's very clear, but it, there's always an emotional component that's interfering with someone feeling their best. So I'm inviting you right now to ask yourself or journal it out, you know, what is, what is your soul calling you to do? Your soul is calling you to wake the fuck up, all right? Your soul is calling you to step into your power. Your soul is calling you to step into your greatest offering. And your greatest offering is not living in pain. Your greatest offering is not limiting your experience with excuses around money or time or your ability to create. Your greatest offering is not the boxes that you've put yourself into that are quote unquote, okay, because it serves you in some way, but limits you from experiencing your dream. You have the absolute ability and right to create whatever you desire to create in your life. So you've got to get in touch with that. And then you got to honor that. That's, that's the only way And honoring that is what keeps us on the path of well-being. And being on the path of well-being is what keeps us out of pain, out of suffering, out of the limitations. Now, I absolutely believe that suffering is part of our experience here. It's how we grow in this, in this three-dimensional reality. Yeah, I, I have been suffering, <laughs> you know, if I want to call it that, I guess I've been suffering. I was suffering for sure prior to this transition, and that's what n- initiated the transition and the evolution. And then, you know, going through it has been challenging, which I guess we could call suffering, but it's, it's what also motivated me to keep moving forward. So if you're not allowing yourself to step into your deepest dream, to step into your power, to really create what you desire, you're squelching yourself, you're squelching your light, and you're creating a story around your pain and lack, and it allows you to stay stuck there. This is leading to victimization and blame, all right? So when we're telling ourselves a story about something because we can't do it, we don't have enough, you know, we can't get out of this job because, you know, it, it, I have insurance or whatever, but I really would like to have my own business making jewelry. And I can't get out of this job because I have insurance and making jewelry, I won't have insurance. Like this is a story. You can see the little loop. It just goes around and around and around. And it just keeps you stuck in that place. And then you feel victimized because you don't have the power to step up and create what you want. But then that story of victimization is what causes you to keep saying the same story. So you got to look at how this is showing up in your life. Like if there's something you want differently, then you need to take control because if you don't, you're going to stay in this limitation, lack, painful, suffering experience. All right. Maybe it shows up in your body as 
pain in your body, just like this woman I was just describing to you. Um, you know, maybe you get headaches, maybe you have back pain, maybe you have all over body pain. This is what she was having. Um, and, and maybe if you look a little deeper, you may notice that it shows up as a heaviness in your heart or in your body, a feeling that maybe something is missing. And then you do what you can to fill that void. So this is subconscious, um, high level work that I'm inviting you to do on yourself because you have the ability to transform your life and you have the ability to be an alchemist for life. We have source energy that is all around us everywhere all the time. There's nowhere it isn't. And you can source from that energy, rewire your beliefs, get your stuff cleared out of your junk or the junk cleared out of your uh, emotional subconscious, you know, place so that you can feel and know the truth of your ability to create. If you're feeling that emptiness, that level of unfulfillment, you may have a tendency to fill that void, okay, with something like food, maybe, um, or being too busy. I, I know that kind of tends to be where I lean. I used to lean on food a lot, and now that's kind of behind me pretty much. But now I can find myself just going, oh, I got to work, I got to work, I got to work, I got to work, I got to work. And then I find that I've lost myself and I'm not getting any traction in my work. And I look at that as a symptom. So the lack of being able to get traction in my work is a symptom of me not connecting into my spirit. So you know, the other thing we sometimes do as women is we stay in bad relationships or we stay out of relationships and don't even get a relationship because that being in relationship causes us to look at ourselves in a deeper way. And if we're not willing to do that, we're just going to stay out of relationships. Or maybe you're just putting up with a job you don't really, really like because it fills your space so you don't have to look at your own self. So you don't have to feel that level of unfulfillment because at least you're doing quote unquote something, right? I just had a patient the other day and uh, she's, she's a new patient and she, she works the nine to five, but she wasn't working a nine to five prior. She was doing uh, like four days a week and that was perfect. It felt really good for her to do that um, because she had, you know, she wasn't tired all the time. She had time to go on hikes and, you know, do things like go exercise and that kind of thing. Well, now that she's taken up the nine to five, she's tired when she gets home. She's unmotivated. She doesn't even want to exercise and, and she is pretty much not nourishing herself. She's not feeding herself well and she's tired. So, you know, yeah, it's, yeah, I have a hard time with this because I'm going to like obviously treat her and, uh, help her with her nutrition, which is going to help and help her remove the neuro emotional subconscious blocks that are keeping her stuck there. But it may take for her, I don't know, we'll see. It may take for her, um, finding more space in her life. So maybe that means taking her job down to four days a week. If she really likes her job. It's not that she wants to quit her job, but maybe she needs to just find a little more space in her life so she, so that she can find fulfillment for herself, right? I'm not sure. I, like I said, she's new. We'll, fit, we'll figure this out. But this is just an invitation for you. This is an invitation for you to really decide if what you're doing and what you're experiencing is fulfilling you on every level. So get your candle out, light it up with some intention, get your stones out or your tarot cards out or your journal out. I always have my journal out. I actually, I actually always have my stones out. I, I totally create a mini altar everywhere I go with my stones. Even when I go to other offices and work, I set them up around my computer and yeah, you know, it just keeps me focused. Like right now I have quartz crystal, uh, chrysanthemum stone and rose quartz uh, all lined up here right beside me. Uh, the quartz crystal just makes everything kind of, it, it expon makes everything exponential. So I've got the chrysanthemum stone is about 
what's blossoming forward in my life? So the question is, what is blossoming forward in my life? What is my soul calling forward, right? I think it's kind of cool, actually. I even used the lotus flower analogy earlier in this uh, podcast, and now I um, am having the chrysanthemum stone. So I guess, yeah, it, it all it all relates, of course, right? Everything aligns. And then the rose quartz helps me stay in my heart. So it's like, ooh, what's being called forth? through me, through my heart, and how can I make that brighter with the quartz crystal? So, uh, yeah. And then the other thing I have I really like are something called Shine Cards, and I'm going to put a link to Shine Cards in the show notes in case you want to check them out. But they're they're actually little tiny cards that have one word on them, and you can just pick it, and it has a book that goes with it, and it tells you what that is. And, and it's really um, just for women. It's, you know... For, to help us feel good in our bodies and in our lives and to bring forth an, an element into our consciousness to bring forth throughout the day in case we're kind of losing track of, of some of the parts of ourselves that are important. And today I actually um, pulled one and it, and it was, uh, it says flirt. I'll, I'll read it to you, flirt. Um, I'm not feeling all that flirty today, but since I pulled this card, I guess I'm feeling a little better. Uh, it says, Miss Sassy Smarty Sexy Pants, you use your goddess gifts to get your way. Your flirty self knows how to go after what she wants, what buttons to push, and how to level the playing field. Your flirty self is fun-loving, forward, and fabulous. She is the part of you that enjoys the interaction, the chase, and the race. Your flirty self helps you help yourself by being bold, beautiful, and beloved. And, you know, okay, all right, maybe I'm not feeling so flirty, but um, I can use this to bring forward um, the, my fun-loving self, right? And so I pulled that card and came right over here, and I, and I hope that uh, this this combo is, is fun-loving and, and inspiring, and um, maybe uh, me even just saying, you know, this reading this to you, you're feeling a little more flirty in your world, you know? I know when we're not feeling certain ways and we're asked to bring forth, call forth those feelings, that it's, it can be very challenging, but it can be very healing. This is the why this is the reason why I go to my sensual dance class because it always asks me to call forth something within myself that I, I want to to stay cloaked or hidden or unrevealed and uh and there's no hiding from it. I just want to like, okay, I'm gonna make myself reveal this to myself and to these other women holding space for me right now. And uh yeah, so I'm just inviting you to do whatever it takes to get yourself into a headspace that's open and in fun and juicy and joyful, whatever that looks like for you. And uh, yeah, enjoy your journey. Turn yourself on. That's what we're doing here. Turn yourself on. I am sending you some big, badass virtual hugs right now. Know that you are loved and I will talk to you very soon. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Turn Your Soul On Radio. Go ahead and subscribe below. And if you feel it's worthy of a five-star review, I'd greatly appreciate your support in this way. If you'd like to go deeper with me, you're welcome to join our private Facebook group, Turn Your Soul On, or take it to a whole nother level and apply for my four-month Turn Your Soul On Masterclass. You're welcome to do this at drbrandyvictory.com. Whatever you do, turn your soul on. This podcast is for information purposes only. Dr. Brandy Victory is not a medical doctor, and the views and statements expressed on this podcast are not medical advice. This podcast, including Dr. Brandy Victory and the producers, disclaim responsibility from any possible adverse effects from the use of information contained herein. Opinions of guests are their own, and this podcast does not endorse or accept responsibility for statements made by guests. This podcast does not make any representations or warranties about guest qualifications or credibility. This podcast may contain paid endorsements and advertisements for products or services. Individuals on this podcast may have a direct or indirect financial interest in products or services referred to herein. If you think you have a medical problem, consult a licensed physician.